Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and share the link so more people will join us and don't forget please to use a nice language otherwise we have to block your name from the chat the topic is Islam not the Muslims really so avoid uh, calling Muslims bad words we are here to question Islam Muslims are people like us and I believe they are deceived and we are here to help them not to attack them uh, there is tons of articles exist in the internet and as I see in, in the front of me one of them it says 106 reasons why I converted to Islam look like this guy he give up he he reached one six he cannot get more so if we get you a religion have 107 reasons you will leave Islam and you will join the new religion I mean sometime I read and I find that those who write articles they are immature literally immature one one you know there is one reason to convert to any religion not hundred not ten not any either is true or not <laughs> the rest is false the rest is a stupid so and then they start counting for you the reasons okay oneness of God so what if you're if this God is one or two or five or seven if he is real or not this is the question immature thinking God has no God okay well your God has no God but how you know did you prove it did you prove that this God has no God well the Quran have tons of verses where Allah he prays Allah Allah he say in the name of Allah so if Allah is one how Allah is speaking at the name of the other Allah And how we can prove that this God has no God? Actually, we can prove the opposite uh, from the Quran, easy. And we can show you that. Allah is very important in Islam. That's very funny. I mean, <laughs> if Allah is not very important in Islam, so who is going to be important? I forgot Muhammad is more important in Islam from Allah. If a, a, if a person insulted Allah, he will be forgiven. He will give it, be given three days to repent. But if he insulted the Prophet, he must be executed. So Allah come as number two as important after Muhammad Allah there is a, a, Here is me when I call him. I don't see so I don't know how this is work for you As I know from as a Middle Eastern who is an Arab that Muslims they go to churches praying to Jesus when they want to be healed and Many churches in the Middle East they are running by donation from Muslims Allah he hear no one actually there's a hadith confirmed that Allah is deaf and let me show you don't tell me that you know more than your prophet you're a prophet he said that Allah he come every day in the third part of the night every day uh, he come Let me make make it more clear for you in case uh, that the text is not clear and this is a very authentic hadith as you see this is a very authentic hadith our Lord who is talking Muhammad the exalted descend every night to the lowest heaven when one-third of the later part of the night is left and he says who supplicates me so that I would I may answer him who asked me so that I may give him who asked me forgiveness so that I may forgive him and here this is actually explain a lot about Islam instead of telling me 106 reason reason to convert to Islam I just found all the reasons to refuse Islam in just one statement because if Allah is all hearing, Allah is all knowing, Allah He see everything. Why Allah is descending every night from point A to point B to listen to us? Remember, the reason for Allah to descend down is what? Is to hear our prayer. So Allah, if He don't descend down, He cannot hear the prayer. Do you see it? He descend for a reason. What he descend for? He descend 
so he can hear you who supplicate to me which means he will not be able to know who supplicate to him unless he descend So I found a very clear reason to reject Islam and God as God Because what kind of God he need to step down let us say let us make it you know simple for those who they are not uh, Understanding what I'm trying to say to you According to Muslims Allah he live in seven floors building In the top of seven floor buildings, so this is a floor number one. This is a floor number two three four five six and we are in the sorry this we are under the lower uh, one which is number seven so Allah is here where is Allah is here this is Allah all right Allah in order to hear you according to Muhammad he the, the he go he have to go he have to go it's not a choice it's not like a, a you know he have to go in order to listen to you and to hear you all the way to the lowest level so he have to cross seven skies every night to go down so he can hear you praying to him you see i said nothing muhammad he get him his god busted it's not me if allah is god if allah is all knowing if allah is all hearing he cannot hear he can hear me without going anywhere So you give me a 106 reason to convert to Islam. Here we go. In less than 30 seconds, I found the reason for every Muslim to leave Islam. This is cannot be true. This is cannot be about God. Secondly, Allah descend where, my friend? <laughs> you see what Muhammad he did in this hadith. This hadith alone is enough. And now they will say, "Oh, this is we reject this hadith. This is authentic." Do you know what the other mistake Muhammad he did? Who want to help me? Who want to help me in this uh, story here? What is the other mistake Muhammad he did in this story here? He made a big mistakes. What is the second mistake? Anyone can tell me? Anyone knows? What is the second mistake? It's very clear. Think with me carefully. Additional that Allah is coming down. Uh, Allah may forgive you. Okay, we will leave that because, you know, not everyone who asks God to be forgiven, he will be forgiven. You know, that's okay. This is just, uh, this is like, uh, uh, this is something cannot be confirmed wrong or right because it's a choice of forgiveness anyway. Anything else? The earth is round. Thank you. So one of our friends here, he gave us the answer. If Allah is coming every day in the third part of the night. All right. If Allah is coming every day in the third part of the night. Okay, he's coming where? He said descend down. The only way to accept such a statement, if Muhammad believed that the earth is a flat, and there is only one time Allah He come down, it is in the third part of the night. <coughs> That's mean the earth have only one third part of the night. <laughs> Additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Right. So we did not start even examining the God of Islam when we find a big failure in the idea of this religion. However, I did not start my topic yet. My topic is who is a Muslim who knows who is Allah? They don't know. The funny, the Muslim, they debate you about the nature of your God as a Christian, but they do not know the nature of their God. Have you ever heard of a Muslim? He can tell us who is Allah. All what they say to you is God. My friend, I'm not asking you what his job. It's funny. If I say who is, if I say who, to you, who is the eye doctor? You say to me, the eye doctor. I'm, I'm saying who is he? Do you know who is he? Not his job. So who is Allah? They say to you, he is the creator. Well, that's very easy to prove that's going to be true. 
Because have you ever heard of a God he do not know simple things about this world? As an example, this God, he thinks the sun set in murky water. He thinks the women have a sperm coming from their ribs. The man have a sperm coming from the backbone. And the baby is created from a sperm who transform into a congealed dead blood. Have you ever heard of a God you do not know which one he created first, the stars or the trees? So one verse he says something, the other verse he says something. So who is a Muhammad and is willing to call me right now, right here, and tell me who is Allah? Do you know that Muhammad never spoke to Allah? He never heard Allah? Do you know that? So how you follow Allah? If you do not know who is Allah, who is Allah? Didn't know. And I'm not questioning the name right now because even the name itself is a theft. The name Allah contains two words, Al and La, which is the moon god. In the ancient Aramaic and in the ancient Hebrew, the letter Al means God. Regardless what God it is, true God or false God, doesn't matter. La is the moon god. Allah. That is the true name of Allah. God la. And it's a name stolen from the Aramaic people. And the Muslims, they have no idea. Now this name for sure, they share it like they share it in Egypt, they share it in many territories in the Middle East. And the same God have many names depend in the culture the language and the reason those people they choose the moon God to be their God because the God of the moon is more nice he don't kill their uh, cattle he don't dry their grass and he don't uh, make them thirsty while the Sun is an ugly God this is why you see Muhammad he speak always against the Sun so he claim even that the Sun arise from between the two horn of shaitan Now, either Muhammad is a fiction person or he is a true prophet. Now, you choose one. Do you believe really that the sun rise from between the two horns of shaitan? And this is why he for, uh, forbid the Muslims to pray when the sun is rising. <clears throat> all, all of those statements is against the sun. You see it? All those statements is coming from people who hate the God of the sun, who worship the God of the moon. And Muhammad, he is adopting all the pagan lifestyle and belief before him. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us and tell us who is Allah? So if we go back to the 106 reasons the Muslims they try to come with, we find that those reasons are immature. They are like made by a bunch of children. Allah has no image. This is a big fat lie. What are you talking about? Here we go. This is your prophet getting you busted. I mean, obviously, those they claim to be Muslim, but they don't know what Islam is about. Who said to you that Allah has no image? Who is the one who mentioned that to you? <clears throat> Muhammad is copying a verse from the Bible where it says that God, he created Adam in his image. Word by word. The Muslim, they try to explain this. They say, oh, they are saying that Adam, he was created in such an image. Well, so you beat uh, you beat a man in his uh, in his uh, shoulder. Well, isn't it this is the same image of shoulder of Adam? <laughs> what is the point? Isn't it your prophet? He says, Allah have five fingers. Allah, he has a leg. He have a shin. 
Allah, he have two hands and both his hand in the right side. So where you get this is from that Allah has no image. So all these articles are fraud. Not only either they are made by a bunch of ignorant who do not know what Islam is about, or it's a fraud made in purpose to fool you and they fabricated names there about people who converted to Islam. Because I can make an article of one million people right now in the internet and every one of them, his name is Muhammad and Ali and Ahmed and then I say why he converted to Christianity. But where are they, those people? And let us talk to them. So now, who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us who is Allah? Instead of telling me Allah is one, you know, if we go like, you see, I search for articles speaking about the nature of Allah. And look what I found. I mean, I found, as usual, immature answers. Look, nature of Allah. The question is the nature of Allah. The guy is telling me that Allah have 99 names and Allah is one God. What does this have to do with the nature of Allah? And why Allah have 99 names? I mean, what does that mean? Why he stopped with the 99? Is there something missing? Is he out of them? Maybe he's a credit card decline. Where is the answer? Where is the nature of Allah? The nature of Allah. Islam is based in monotheism. And this is very, very much a questionable. Because you Muslims, you claim that you worship one God, but you associate the name of your God with the name of your prophet. When you say Shahada, what is the Shahada witnessing in Arabic? What do you witness? You witness for Allah and Muhammad. You associate the name of God with the name of a man. So how you claim that you are a monotheist? If somebody, he said, I want to believe in Allah, according to Muslims, he is not a Muslim. He have to witness that Muhammad, he have to put the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad. Not only that, the Muslims associate the knowledge of Allah with the knowledge of Muhammad to the point if Muhammad says something, Allah and his prophet knows best. When Muhammad, he asked one of his uh, hungry disciple, this guy, his name is Abu Huraira, and he used to uh, to follow the prophet because he's always hungry. He want to get a free meal, you know, because he claimed to be a prophet. So wherever he go, he get a free meal. This is why he accompany him. So here, uh, we we found that Muhammad saying to his uh, uh, hungry companion, "Do you know where the sun set?" I entered the mosque, Allah Messenger was sitting and when this disappearing from the uh, site, he said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where, where it goes? He the narrator said, Allah and his apostle knows best. The holy prophet said, You holy, how is holy? If Muhammad the Quran says he's a sinner, so you worship him, you make him holy. How you say he's holy? I can let it go and say, okay, maybe this is a uh, you know, like hip hypocrisy statement, praising a man, making him holy. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a sinner, and not only that, Allah will forgive his past sin and the one to come. If we go in the Quran, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find the following. You see, everything we say here, it's proven, and we don't make things, uh, we don't make things up. This is your Quran saying it clearly that Allah. And look here in the Muslim translation, they say that Allah may forgive your fault. Faults need, do not need to be forgiven, my friend. It's a sin. In Arabic, it says, They lie in the translation. It says, "Them back." Them, them is not a fault. Fault is something different. Fault is something you do without intention. This is not fault. If we change the translator in a second, we will see how they lie to us. Here we go. The same Muslim translation. It's Muslim. Why Muslim translation says sin and the other one says fault? Because it depends how hypocrite you are, the translator. Here you will see that Allah is saying, and this is a proven that Allah cannot be Allah if he is God. 
that Allah may forgive thee. Okay, if, if Allah is the one speaking about forgiveness, why he is saying me, me? And what kind of Allah he forgave the past and the coming sin? Is that a license for sin? Yes. And this is unethical. You see, the Muslim, they say to you and lying that the Christian believe that they believe in Jesus. That's it. They are saved. Doesn't matter how much sin they do. Well, this is not really true. What Jesus said, he forgive us if we believe and we repent. This is why he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you say to him, Lord, Lord, from now until tomorrow and from now until the coming century, but you do not do his will, which is fighting sin, repenting and changing your life. Then you are a fake Christian. And Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Here we see the opposite. Muhammad, he have a license for sin. And Allah saying that he may forgive him. And the funny, he is not saying may Allah forgive him. He says that Allah may forgive thee. So who is the one is talking? If Allah is one and Allah is the only God, then Allah, he say, may Allah forgive your sin. Well, it sounds like there's Allah speaking about another Allah. Do we have any Muslim would like to? <clears throat> Call us. When the Muslim walk around the Kaaba, uh, you know, the Muslim, they say whatever they want around the Kaaba, but usually they sing a, a, a songs coming from the tradition of Islam. I have nothing to do with Jesus. Do we have any Muslim can tell us who is Allah? We go back to the hadith. This hadith has proven to us many things that Muhammad, he accept people saying that his knowledge is and the knowledge of Allah is one. So this is a shirk. Muslims are not people who believe in monotheism. Allah and his apostles know best. Did Muhammad say, don't say that? Did Muhammad say, shame on you to say that? I am no one. I am just a man. I'm just a prophet. I tell you what Allah told me. I know nothing of myself. No, Muhammad, he like it. He keep continuing. Actually, he is mentioning this statement. Do you know? So the guy will praise him and say, Allah and his apostle know best. And then Muhammad, to prove to us that he is a false prophet, he continues, says that the sun goes every day and sleep under the throne of Allah. So Muhammad, and here you will see, speaking about return to the sitting place and the rising place. There is a sitting place for the sun, and there is a rising place for the sun. And this is exactly confirmed as in the Quran, it says that the sun set in the murky water, and next to it, he, next to the sitting place of the sun, he found people living there. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, how God, he gave him such a false information? Any Muslim can explain to us. Anyone? My Skype is open. You can give your ID to the admin and she will text me or anyone of them will text me and I will be happy to call you immediately. It doesn't matter how long your beard, how small it is. We take you. Anyone? So when when they try to, to understand what the Muslims worship, we find that there's nothing worshiping there. I mean, this is the this is a bunch of stories, and those are stories full of fictions and full of uh, 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 you know uh, lies. What sun sitting in murky water, and what the sun goes every day to to. To bow down under the throne of Allah. I mean, do you know how many suns there is in this galaxy? Is what sun? Sun is nothing. Sun is the sun compared to this universe is the same as like a, a piece of circle, it's burning. So this is what the sun do every day, go under the throne of Allah. And this is the explanation of Muhammad of the sunset. And this is how God He speaks, and this is how God He teaches. 
and this is supposedly the true God who you are so 106 reason to convert to Islam what about reason number one Islam is a stupid cult and we are proving it in front of you what about number two Islam is an ignorant cult what about number three Allah know nothing Allah is a God of superstition stories So all those articles proving to us that Islam is false cult. And then if we continue reading any Islamic article to try to find, okay, uh, maybe the answer will come later. Maybe after one hour reading, we will find the answer. The nature of Allah. What is the nature of Allah? Who is a Muslim want to call me and tell me the nature of Allah? All what I see, Allah is one. Who care about this one thing? I mean, I got it. Allah is one. Thank you. And by the way, the verse they are quoting for us doesn't say Allah is one. It says one off because the word in Arabic here is Ahad. And the word Ahad mean in Arabic one off, not one. So if Allah, he chose the word, obviously, obviously Allah, he doesn't speak with Arabic. But let me tell you what happened. Muhammad was quoting the Jews. O Israel, your God is Echad. Echad, this is the word Ahad. They have even the same pronunciation. Echad is unification, is not one as number. So when the Quran, he chose that word, copying the Jews, he proved to us again that he, the one who is making the Quran is a thief and he is trying to adopt the God of the Jews. But this is not will not, will not make him, as they claim, one person, that will make him one of many. Because the one you choose is Ahad. The word Ahad in Arabic is different from the word Wahid. You see, if I go right now to the Quran and I type the word Ahad, actually, let me do this. I will go to chapter 112 in front of your eyes and I will copy the word as it is. The word they keep saying to us, Ahad. I will copy it. Be my witness. Copy and I will paste in the search engine. Hmm? Exactly the same word, and look what we will find. All those coming as one off. Do you see it? Wama yu alimani min ahad, and they teach none off. Wala nufarriqu bayna ahad, and we don't differentiate between any off. <laughs> Do you see it? We make no distinguish between any of this is what I have mean. This is the sentence they keep repeating for us. Even that sentence is a theft is talking to is stolen from the Old Testament from the Jews. Muhammad he put the word there, and those who follow they don't know what this word means. The word wahid in Arabic mean one. The word ahad mean one off. So how Allah can be one off? So even that one, they get it wrong. In different verse in the Quran, the author of the Quran, Muhammad, they made another mistake. <clears throat> Let us see. Allah, He said in the Quran, if we want to take a wife. We will take it from ourselves. He will take it from what? From ourselves. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and tell us Allah will take a wife from ourselves? Who is the ourself 
which is going to be the choice of Allah to have sex with anyone any Muslim And why we don't see the Muslims who want to call us and prove us wrong and get us busted? You know, feel free. I mean, all what you need to do, just make a phone call, show everybody that this guy, he did not know what he's talking about. Anyone? So can we take this as like nobody is willing to challenge? What is Zachary Naik and where is the what is those guys who grow long beard? Every single verse in the Quran is a disaster. Who wanna prove me wrong? If we go back to the Muslims, you see, just forget about Muslims article. Let me let me summarize Islam for you, my friends and my brothers and sisters. What Islam? Islam is a religion. If you believe in it, you will go to a place, have a lot of honey. Okay. This is the reward of Allah. Islam is a religion. If you believe in it, you will have a green shirt. Uh huh. And this shirt is made by Ayatollah Al Khomeini in Iran. It's a Persian brand. Are you sure? Yes. Islam is a religion. If you believe in it, uh, you will have a pillow. And next to the pillow, a lot of women. Am I lying? So you tell me 106 reasons of converting to Islam. You did not mention any of them about what Allah He said. All the reasons of Allah, which is mentioned in the Quran, why you should convert to Islam, I cannot see it in this article. Where is the virgins? Where is women who have nobody touched their? <clears throat> Where is women who they are, they are they are so white? Where is women with big breast? You see, they did not mention to us the real reason to convert to Islam. Where are they? The real reasons? Why you don't speak about them? Is it this is Quran or not? Here we go. This is the Quran telling us the reason to convert to Islam. So you notice right away that they are lying to us. I mean, what kind of God he promised me that I will have women with big boobs? What I will do with them? I practice boxing like boing, 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 boing. So my wife with big, uh, she stand in front of me and I practice boxing with her. Or maybe she will help me if, if the flood of Noah happen again, we will not be drowned because she have two big balloons. So 106 reasons not to convert to Islam. None of them is what is written in the Quran. Look at this. This is the reason, reason to convert to Islam. What about the boys? The boys, my friend. The boys who will go around you. Huh? Boys, yes. In heaven, yes. What they will do, according to Muslims, they will be your servant. They will be what? They will be your servant. And here you will see that they are so white, not only they are boys. And read with me carefully. 
This is the reasons to convert to Islam. Allah, he count reason number one, count number two, number three. Why you are lying to us? My friend, you will be lying in the couches. All my life, I'm dreaming to get a couch. Actually, I'm, I wanna, I'm thinking now, if, if finally I get some saving, I'm going to buy a couch. And uh, brother, Allah, he promised us we will be reclining and we will see us, each other face to face. You believe it? It's a miracle. So now we have a couch. And then we are sitting face to face. And then around us will be boys. And those boys, they will go around us serving us with cups full of wine and ginger. And the brother, you will not get a drunk. And the brother, the boys will not bleed. And the brother, you will eat a, a fruit you prefer. And a brother, the buffet have only bird meat, no fish, no shrimp. Sorry. And then in the top of that, a brother, women who they are called whore, and they are so white. How white? Muhammad he said, not me, that those women they will be white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. Do you see it? Reasons to convert to Islam, those are the reasons. This is why the Mujahideen, they want to join Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Not because they love Allah, they are going there, they want to have sex. This is the truth. And what kind of women those women are? Women who they are so white because Muhammad, he knew the Arab, they are obsessed with the white color, they are racist. He knew what his people like, so he promised them false promises about women who they are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. And don't take me wrong. Women who you can see the marrow of their bones, they are very beautiful. I mean, imagine you have a wife like this. Or like this. Or like that. Or like this one. I mean, who can resist this? Nobody. Brother, we cannot resist this. This is so beautiful. So you count for me all the reasons to convert to Islam except the real reasons. Giving me all kind of fiction, false statement have nothing to do with what Islam is about. Why? Because you do not know what Islam is about. And all those articles are written for a bunch of ignorant who do not know what Islam is. But you cannot do that with me. And who in the world, when I have a woman, you can see the marrow of her bones? I mean, what is this? <clears throat> Harun? Harun is a Muslim. You want to talk to me? Let us see if Harun... Okay, Mr. Harun. Uh, well, I hope you are uh, not playing games because if you are, I will block you. Are you for sure you are a Muslim, Mr. Harun? Okay, let us give you a call. Take my call, Harun. It says you are not online. Are you there? 
I will give you two minutes more to come online and call me. Otherwise, I will block your name. So as you see, you know, they don't know who is Allah. They don't know what Islam is about. Islam is just a silly cult. And what kind of God he promised me a woman with big breast? And what kind of a God he promised me a, a, a green T-shirt and a pillow? That's what God is about. And then when we ask him who is Allah, they don't know. Or would they give us a very funny stories like Allah is one? Who cares if he's one or ten? If Allah is one, if Allah is ten, if Allah is one thousand, that will not change the fact if he is true or not. Prove to me that who is Allah. Tell me who is Allah. You say to me, Allah is the creator. How Allah is the creator and he says such a silly thing. He thinks the sun sit in the murky water. He thinks the sun come from between the two horns of shaitan. He thinks that, 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 that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. So this is Allah. Okay, let me block this uh, Moil, Mo, Mo, whatever his name. He sent me his account to call him. He did not come online. Okay, we have another one. Let us hope he's a Muslim. YouTube, please. YouTube. YouTube, please. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us? Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Christian Prince. Yeah. Uh, nice talking to you. Thank you, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I don't want to say my name and. Um, I came through your, yeah. I came through to your, uh, to your channel through a posted prophet, uh, yeah. So, yeah, and um, yeah, I'm a Muslim actually. All right. Uh, but I have my doubts. I have so many, so so many doubts. Um, I do listen to lots of you know uh, atheist uh, podcasts and you know. Uh, you know, like so many atheists, uh, part especially from ex-Muslims. But when I got through to your channel, you know, that was what uh, totally destroyed, uh, almost destroyed me. Really, really. Um, uh, things have never been the same since I listened uh, to you. You know, uh, it was just too much. So my question here is. Um, you know, um, I will give you a background story so that you can understand where I'm coming from very well. All right. Right. Are you listening to me? I'm listening, my friend. Uh, when I started having my doubts was, um, I don't know if, do you know about Sudan, the Darfur problem? Yeah. Yeah. So. That, um, that, that was when I started having my doubts. I was like, okay, these are Arab, you know, mo Arab Muslims killing other uh, black Muslims in the same country. And all the sheikhs and all the big mosques in Saudi Arabia and all these big Muslims, nobody ever come out to, to condemn it, you know? I mean, this, this where people being hacked to death, being raped, being killed, children. You know, it was so crazy. Only George Clooney and his wife, Amal Clooney, hmm. only Christians, you know, were coming to, you know, to, to help these people. So I was wondering what's going on. I thought that, okay, maybe, you know, Islam doesn't have, you know, this tradition or culture of human rights. And so I was still waiting that something will happen. You know, that was when I started having my doubts and I started, you know, reading uh, all these other contrarian ideas about what what is going on? Why would a, a religion that always talks about compassion, about rahma, rahma, and all these things? Why, you know? So that was when I started having. So in the end, you know, I got introduced to a guy who told me that you know 
that is all Sunni Muslim. But when you go to Shia Muslim, Shia Islam is the right Islam. You know, everything is good and dandy. Hmm. But I still have my doubts. I say, you know, I'm I'm struggling. I have to because okay, I, I I come from a Muslim country, and Islam has been part of my tradition right from when I was a kid. So, what I'm thinking, I'm I'm thinking of becoming a maybe she maybe she Islam will be a lot more, hmm. uh, a lot more better. You know, so those are the struggles I've been having. Anytime I listen to you, uh, to you, I was like. Uh, it's like it, it, it seems so unreal. Uh, you know, I keep wondering where where is all these things? Why is it that nobody ever talks about them? You know, yeah. So I have a lot of struggle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so now you are thinking that Shia is a way, like a, uh, somehow maybe better than the Sunni teaching, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because you know what my friend told me is that um, he said. Hmm. Uh, the Sunni people are racist. He said, okay, where is all the hadith by Bilal? He said, Bilal has so many hadith. He said, but they hide all the hadith of Bilal because Bilal is black. So, but he said in Shiite Islam, they really, uh, you know, recognize, although I don't, I don't know much about, about, about Shiite Islam, but he said in Shiite Islam, uh, Bilal is, is respected and all that, uh, da -da 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 -da. Well, so that is where I am now. But um, yeah, it's been struggle every day. Any time I listen to you, my brain just goes into overdrive, and I, sometimes I can't sleep. You know. Right. Yeah. It, Here we go. This is yeah. the Shia. You see, I don't talk about Shia usually. I will put it for you on the screen. I don't know. You are from Sudan, so I'm assuming that you know Arabic. So here, yeah, yeah I know, I know Arabic. Uh, um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. So now here. I will show you what the Shia believe about you as a black person. Here, this is the book, Jamu uh, Ahadith al Shia, Al Sayyid al Burduraji, volume number two, uh, 20, okay. sorry, page number sorry. 93. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is, uh, exists in many books, it's not only in one book. I just, uh, you know, I just, uh, like, the, let us say, the one come to my hand right now. Okay, okay. Babu Karahati Munakahati Zinj. Do you understand what is that saying? Yeah, Zanj is the yeah, black people. Yeah. Why it's hated to marry from a black, the word they are saying, Zanj, which means, uh, uh, you know, the color. Okay, yeah. yeah. Abu Karahati Manakihat Zanj. Correct. And mm -hmm. Wal Khazar, Wal Khuz, Wal Sind, Wal Hind, Wal Qund, Wal Nabat, Wal Kurd. Uh, and it is uh, accursed by the Prophet of Allah. All right? So. So, oh, so which book which book is this there's many books we will show you the hadith let us go one by one we will show you you know okay, okay. The, the hadith this is all from coming from Ali supposedly yeah coming from the prophet and uh, reported by Ali supposedly okay uh, he said and Abi Abdullah alayhi salam qala la tunakihu zinj don't marry or let us say have sex with the black women. Uh, with the, uh, with the black. Uh, uh, can you highlight it? Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Abi Abdullah Ali Salam Qala La Tanaki Zinj. Okay. Don't marry a uh, Zinj. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But let me. I'm, I'm trying to find the other uh, source. Uh, here they, they just say say uh, don't uh, uh, don't sleep with uh, uh, black uh, people, but they don't say why. So mm. let me let me see. If we can find the reason, this is the book of Al Kafi, which is equal to Al Bukhari. Al Kafi, okay, okay. Here we go. Here it says why. This is the book of Al Sheikh Al Kilani, Al Kafi, value number five, page number three five two, Hadith number seventeen. And we go down here. It says, it says here. Then they say Ali Ali Ibn Ibrahim. Yeah, and Abi, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I he said, he said, إن نكاح الزنج فإنه خلق مشوه. Do you understand? 
Uh, can you highlight it? Uh, in the Nikah Zint, where, where, where is it? Okay, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Mushawah, which mean and uh, Mushawah, which mean defect creation. Mm. Ugly. This is what they are saying, not me. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. And here we go. This is the Shia. They told you the Shia is better. Yeah, that's what that's what I was told. Yeah. Yeah. So the Shia are better, and they are saying to you, if you do that, if you marry from them, you will have not only that. Look what he says. If you go down in the hadith, there is tons of hadith. Uh, 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 he said that if you have sex with the Kurdish, the Kurdish people are kind of a genie, and they are, and and covered by Allah, which means you know they are exposed by Allah. So Kurdish are genie. Uh, hmm. Here he says, uh, Don't don't uh, don't have sex with the, with them because yeah. the womb of their women have uh, have no loyalty, you know. And and he, and the same for people of India and people of the Sind. Sind was Sind, okay. Uh, and well, Qind, um, uh, uh, Qind, which supposedly I think Qindahar all the way to Afghanistan. So all those people are not good people, but who is left? The only good people are the Arab, mm. because people in in uh, in, uh, in Afghanistan they are not uh, black, correct? Yeah. Just because yeah. from there they are bad, and the Kurdish are not black, but they are genie, and the black, <laughs> according to the Hadith here, they are uh, 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 a defect creation, mushawa, which means ugly uh, and, and not good. Bad, yeah. I mean, so what is left? Mm. And you look know, here, and here he explained here to you what a tashawah a shawah qibhul khal al khilqa wa huwa mazdur min babi ta'ib al rajul wa etc. Blah blah blah. So somebody is so ugly, ugly man or ugly woman, imratun mm. shawha, which means she is ugly. Yeah, qabih, yeah, qabih. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm qabih. going to use English translation here. So people will not say to me, I'm making things up. Hold on. I will translate. I will post the link first to people who they are in the chat. I don't know if I can go through because the link have Arabic. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah it doesn't go. But for sure, I can send it to you in Skype. Let me give it to you. Mm. You know, in YouTube, it didn't go. We can post it later, maybe. If we if we choose uh, translate to English automatically. Yeah. Here we go. Here they translate the word as don't buy from Sudan, mm. <laughs> uh, who hated to fight okay. against. Yeah. But this is not about fight. What fight against? You know, if it must be new, yeah. Yeah. Nikah, mm -hmm. to do to have sex with the with the Kurdish and the people of Sudan and others. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the Zinj. Here we go. This is the the word was supposed to Negro. You know, Zinj. Uh, they are created from a defect. The translation here is coming funny, and. Uh, um, Zinch create a war. Let me compare yeah. to the original because it keeps saying don't buy. Mm. Uh, it doesn't say doesn't say buy in here. Yeah, it doesn't but, say buy any anywhere. Yeah. Uh, do not buy from Sudan. Not only that, actually, yeah, it doesn't say buy in Arabic. Here we go. The Arabic one doesn't say buy at all. You see the Arabic. Arabic. Yeah. No, it doesn't say. Here, yeah. min, min and the translation is coming as by, but it's munakaha, munakaha mm. to have sex with them, right? And not only that, it says and don't. Min al akradi Don't even shake hands with them. Yeah, don't even shake. And if you shake hands with them, uh, you you will leave Islam. You know, and if you have sex with them, uh, uh, you know you uh, uh, like uh, the curtain between Allah and you are. Like broke, that's it. You know, which means they have no relationship to Allah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, they are kind of a, of a, of a, of a genie. So, mm -hmm. the translation here is not good. But as long as you speak Arabic, I mean, who cares? We're yeah. just trying yeah. to show. Yeah, I can I can understand yeah. the general trend of what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you if you uh, if you have sex with any of those, and including the people of Sudan. Mm -hmm. uh, you will have, you know, uh, they are, according to uh, Shia, mm -hmm. they are a defect, 
and they are uh, not uh, which means they are punished by Allah you know they are mushawaheen Allah he, he made them this way and if you <laughs> shake hands with them you are in trouble because Allah will hate you and if you have sex with them even their 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 their, their, their womb is not uh, uh, does not carry a lawful child you know which means a child here we go the wombs yeah. indicate mm. none of fulfillment uh, it's a stupid translation Mm. But I understand the Google translation is coming this way because the language is very old language and the uh, Google translation, you know the womb syndicate so, mm. so, so okay, so do uh, do the Shia uh, I don't understand how they have the do they have any hadith from uh, from from Bilal because this guy was telling me that oh that the lots of uh, hadith from Bilal from Our the, friend, oh, wait, yeah. wait, Okay, wait, what Bilal Bilal, you know, uh, here we go I mean, this is this is their highest authority. <laughs> what? Yeah. Let us say that, that, Let us say they have something about Bilal if they claim. And oh, who, let let him give me. What is the guy who wanna give you? Let, let ask him to text you, and we will put the hadith in the screen so we can laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Bilal is he was a slave and he died as a slave. And then after after Muhammad death, uh, uh, Bilal he went to Abu Bakr and he says, "If you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for yourself." Um, my God, yeah, yeah. You see, uh, CP, I've never heard about that since I was a kid. You know, we grew up loving Bilal, so I thought that he became he he was freed immediately. No. Um, if you remember this uh, movie, uh, when we were kids, um, The Messenger. If you remember the the yeah, made by um, Al Qazafi. Yeah, by that Syrian. You know, yeah, you know, you know, when we were kids, that is what we watched during the Eid, right? Hmm. And we thought that. After the Fatih of Mecca, he was he was freed. He became a free man. He was he was going. He was he was saying the adhan on the on the roof of the of the Kaaba. You know that's just what we thought. But when you said that, even after the death of Muhammad, he was still a slave. You know that really cr it crushed me. It totally crushed me. You know, my it, friend, and my he, friend, my friend, and he the Quran. Let, let me ask you. Hold on. Forget about Bilal. Isn't is it the Quran says? Isn't it the Quran says? Don't mm. don't have sex or take wives from non-believers, and having one of the disbeliever Muslims from your slave is better than having a believer. Uh, sorry, a non-believer free. You know what I'm I'm, I'm talking about. Mm. If yeah. The Quran confirm that Muslims they own Muslims. Yep. Who they are slaves, correct? Yes. Okay, so why why we need Bilal anyway? <laughs> you know, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah. so either 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 the 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 slaves are uh, freed, or they are not. And here we go. The Quran saying, "Don't have sex with women who they are disbelievers, and yeah. having sex with a believer slave is better." Mm. You know, oh, with a with a believing slave, yeah. Yeah. So that means. The slave is is Muslim, but still a slave. Correct. So, Correct. so, so, it's, so it's not free. Yeah. yeah. So we have been lied to for we've been lied to for too long. Uh, we've been lied to for too long. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, yeah. so when they say to you Shia is better, I mean we are we are showing, uh, uh, you know, uh, we are showing you from the Shia or from the Sunni, and this yeah. is the game. You know, the game of. You know, like we, they are better, and we are better. Uh, Ali is a criminal. He killed tons of thousands of people. You know. Yeah, I'm so disappointed. After yeah. all those disasters, I mean, now we found that uh, both are the same. There's no different. The Quran confirmed that Muslims they own, and the reason those slaves, by the way, they became Muslims because they were hoping that they will they will be freed. You know they will be treated differently yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. that's all <sighs> yeah you know this is big this is big you know i um, most muslims i have to tell you more i mean a hundred percent of muslims they they believe that um that bilal was was free you know nobody ever you know apart from you saying it i will never nobody will ever tell me that uh, bilal wasn't a free slave that was what we also it's all the propaganda that we that we grew up with that he was friend, free did muhammad he received gifts even as slaves 
Maria the cop they lie they say she was his wife you can go right now search on Google you will find the Muslim scholar they are refuting them says that Mary the cop she never been the wife of the prophet she was a, a gift a slave gift and he used to sleep with her that's all sure. so if a prophet of Allah is against slavery one of his titles was the the Bayar al -Abid, the slave seller he buy and he sell slaves this is what he do for a living so and you know if a guy is against slavery how he go and he says enslave them i mean this is what he do yes he enslave thousands and thousands of people and here the verse in front of us says don't do nikah not marry don't have sex with, with women who they are adulterers unless uh, uh, they believe and doing that one of your girls who they are look here it says uh, 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 a man is slave or women slave believer he is better than unbeliever so why why the Muslim they have and I want any Muslim to tell me if yeah. Islam is against slavery why a Muslim slave is exist yeah I understand you want to say to me that those who they are against Islam we enslave them mm -hmm. but a Muslim believer why he is a slave why Muhammad did not say free all the slaves he did not secondly uh, when the Quran speak about the punishment of murder, which later supposedly abrogated after people start laughing at Muhammad, uh -huh. what he said, al hurr bil hurr, free for free. Okay, al hurr bil Okay, free for free. Yeah. In the in the in the uh, in the law of uh, of murder, in the case of murder, uh, mm. free for the free, slave for the slave. I mean, what kind of religion is religion? So, if I kill your slave, you kill my slave. So now we have two victims; they are slaves. And the killers are free, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> if Muhammad is against, you know, the, the, this guy, and then when people start laughing at him, and this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a false prophet, not only because he come with the law, because he changed it. Because later he people start laughing at him. This is not this is not the law of Moses. This is not what Moses says. Eye for an eye is not I kill your wife the same as you kill my wife. You know? Yeah. So, so this guy, instead of fixing it, now we have two murder. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, you know, I'm so I'm torn. So, so Christianly, so there is nothing redeeming about uh, about um, Prophet Muhammad. Nothing. <sighs> my friend, I can I can say I can make big statement. Yeah. So Muslims, they can come like they have the sermon. Do you know that you heard about the last sermon where Muhammad he says? There's no difference yeah, between black. Uh, this is not authentic. Could... Nobody, nobody approve it. But because now it's fit for yeah, today, yeah. why mm -hmm. we cannot find it in Sahih Bukhari? Why we cannot find it in Sahih Muslim? Why we cannot find it in any of any of the six Sahih of Hadith? Because it's no. not accepted. But because this is fit today with their propaganda, every Muslim he you know he published this uh, last no. ceremony. No. no, wait. So you mean that the the Hijjat al Wada is not in the Hadith? It is in one of the books, which is Muslims. If I quote from there, they will say we don't accept this book. Oh. <laughs> you know, okay, you know, if you if you ask them, okay, where we can find Hujjat al Wada? Can we find it in Sahih Bukhari, the statement as they have it about the black and free? Can yeah. we find it in Sahih Muslim? If any Muslim can show it to me, I want to learn from you. Hmm. No, and not only that, isn't it Muhammad who said? That the black people they are created from the shore, the right shoulder of, uh, sorry, the, the left shoulder of Adam, and they will go to hell. You know from the hadith, right? From Muhammad, what? Muhammad said. Muhammad said uh -huh. that the Is black it? the black people mm -hmm. they are created from the uh, right shoulder of. Uh, let me get you the reference of mm -hmm. Adam. Oh, I can't believe this! Can't believe this! Wow. Yeah. The, the oh, sorry, the white people they create from the right shoulder, and the black people they are created from the left shoulder. Here we go. This is a Tirmidhi hadith number 38, and this is the website of Al Ilm Islamic website 100%. Yeah, could you let me see it? Mm, okay, yeah, and I will send you the link, no problem. Allah Messenger, peace be upon him, said, and this is a Muslim translation, not mine. Allah created Adam when He had to create him. And he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it white offspring, white offspring. Mm -hmm. as if they were white ants. 
he struck <laughs> his left shoulder and then and there emitted from the black of spring as if they were circles. So my friend, uh, uh, I don't know what's your name. According to the prophet, I am from the right shoulder and you are from the left shoulder. <laughs> uh, as if they were charcoal. Okay. Okay. Mm. And then he said, and then he said uh, uh, to those who have been emitted from the right shoulder uh, for paradise, which may go to paradise. And I don't mind. I don't care. Mm. And then he said to those who they are emitted from the left shoulder, go to hell. And I don't care. Do you see it? And okay, okay, and you said this is in the in in which collection of hadith did this you say? This is a termodi. This is a termodi. This is one of the Sahih books. Termodi. Wow. The books. The books of Sahih are six writers. You know. Okay. The mm, I know there's Bukhari, right? And Muslim or something. Mm, wow! Can't yeah. believe it. Can't believe it. You know. So uh, 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 can, can you tell me more racist than this? Okay, have you ever heard Muhammad saying that the black stone was whiter than milk? Did you hear that or not? Yeah, I heard that uh, the scenes of the humans on Earth made it to turn black, right? All right. I think that that's what. What does um, that mean? The the black stone in the Kaaba, right? The said Yeah. The but what it's mean? What, how you understand it? How the, how the black stone was white? And then the sin made it black. What we understand from this? Sin. Yeah, but but maybe not. Yeah, maybe from you know touching it all the time. No, 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 my friend. You see that this is not nothing. You cannot wash. You cannot wash it. Correct. You cannot wash it. This is not something you can wash. This is yeah. sin. This is this is not dirt. Sin. Sin. Sin is not dirt. You know. So what yeah. Muhammad saying that sin make you black, my friend. So that means black is bad. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. He's saying that, you know, that for sure. And this is stupid because what my color have to do with how sinner I am. The, yeah, the founder of a Playboy uh, uh, station is not a black man. Mm. <laughs> and he is not getting black, my friend. He's he was white and he was a blonde. Right. Yeah. So what does this have to do with the with the color? That is the most stupid statement ever. So here you see the racism embedded in this cult which is an arabian cult the arab mm -hmm. they are racist oh everybody knows and this is why muhammad yeah. he promised them women who you can see the mirror of their bones and sin yeah. make you black so and yeah and it's just and it is one of the things that really disturbs me because okay look at what happened in libya when everything broke down i mean the moment they had the chance, all the black people they were just captured and you know they started selling them. And I was like, What yeah, the heck? And, is they, and they raped them, and because they are African, you know, they are the, the, the I, Libyan, we believe they are Arab and yeah, they are white, but, but, and the but, black, so, yeah. So, so it's like every single attempt or a, any single time the, the Arabs they have any power, all they want to do is just you know, uh, start selling black, black, um, you know. I mean, Libya, you think it's a civilized place, you know, it's a civilized oh, country. No. Yeah, yeah, but Libya, Libya is one of the biggest pirate countries in history. The first war actually USA had after USA became USA, it was <laughs> a war with Libya because they used to be doing piracy, the same as Somalia now. They attack ship and they force them to pay jizya if you want to go and live, you know, or we will take your uh, your, your money. So this is who they are. Uh, however, here, you know, we are talking about religion, and religion is the reason for all the behavior. It's yeah. not people, you know. I'm not talking about people here. I'm talking about religion. So, yeah, that's uh, true. What What about Muhammad said that the black dog is the devil? Black goat. The black dog is the devil. Dog. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So what do you the, think? the black dog? I thought the black dog is, has the same DNA as the white dog. So what's yeah. the difference? Uh, obviously, this is this is uh, this is the racism, because <laughs> when when they ask him, even they ask him, look, and I said, Oh Abu Dhar, what feature? Is there in the black dog which distinguish it from the red dog and the yellow dog? He said, Oh, the son of my brother, I asked Messenger of Allah oh, as, you are, as you are asking me. Okay, exactly as you are asking me. And he said, The black dog is the devil. <laughs> oh my god, really? So, uh, this is from which collection of hadith is this from? This is Sahih Muslim. My goodness, <laughs> hadith number 510a. The black dog is a devil. Yeah. My goodness, yeah. Uh, so, wh what more? I mean, what what more you want? I mean, this guy, he thinks just because the dog, the poor dog, is a dog, 
I mean, what what does color have to do with the, <laughs> you know, yeah. with with him being and not? He don't make him like a bad. He's made him the devil himself. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh you know, God. Uh, uh, who is the most person Allah he hates? The 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 person Allah hates most. Yeah. Well, will be the maybe the kuffar or maybe the the bad people, right? No, <laughs> it is a black man. The black the black what? Yeah, he's a black man. The most uh, person Allah he hate. Let us see. <clears throat> there is a uh, there is a hadith for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let us see. My goodness. My God, you are, CP, you are, you are, you are, you are destroying me. I'm not destroying you, my friend. Oh, I'm, my. I'm helping you. Can't believe it. Oh uh, my gosh. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I'm trying to find the reference for you. I hate to mention something without showing reference, even, but even though it's uh, tiring to keep looking and you know, because I cannot save all the reference I have in my head and there is no way my uh, bookmark, uh, it's going to take me more time to find it in the bookmark from find it in the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, uh, let me uh, see uh, if uh, I can find it, hold on. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh. Hmm. Uh, okay. I just I I I wish the whole world will see this your your videos, man. Oh. Well, somebody yeah. from the admin helped me, and he got me the hadith. That's good. All right. So now we save our time from looking. Thank you. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> the most person Allah he hate. Read with me carefully. Mm -hmm. The most hateful among the creation of Allah is a one black man. Uh, can you can you highlight the, the place? Uh, the most hateful among okay, yeah. Is one black man among among them, Hawari. One of one of his hand is like the teeth of a goat or the nipple of the breast. Yeah. When Ali bin Abu Talib killed them, he said Search for his dead body. They search for him, but they did. They did not find it. Awesome. So, my friend, you as a black person, do you accept any of this madness about um, yourself? Yeah. Um. Okay. Can you quickly show? Do you do you have it in Arabic? That the, yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 It is the most hateful among the creation of Allah is one black yeah, man. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. My goodness. Yeah. Which means the most hateful to Allah. The most hateful, yeah. Yeah. My goodness. So, what, what, is, what is left? And why he's black? I mean, and even the one who will destroy the Kaaba is black. And, uh, and the and the, the one who is uh, 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 you know like uh, uh, the one who will block he saw him blocking the stones of the Kaaba one by one. Uh, he's he's, a, he's an Ethiopian. Uh, let us see. Uh, okay, not uh, Bilal al Habashi. Uh, another. No, no, he's, another. he's just an Ethiopian. You know. Okay. He's an Ethiopian who mm. uh, Muhammad he saw him. And look at this statement here. Here we go. Muhammad is speaking about uh, Bilal. The Prophet said, because Bilal is a, a black person, and black person they are, uh, uh, you know, strongly. This is why they are they buy them as a slaves because they are strongly uh, built, correct, for labor. So. Oh, okay. okay. The Prophet said, listen and obey, achieve. Even if an Ethiopian whose head is like a raisin. <laughs> what kind of a Prophet he says such a thing about somebody? Supposedly, the Muslim they say he is the companion of the Prophet. The Raise. companion of the Prophet, he says, a raisin head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you know, a raisin is a fruit that has a shrink and is, is yeah, black. Yeah, he's making fun of the look. Obviously, he's making fun of the look. He's not praising the guy. You know, even if he is like this, so well, you know, okay. 
and and and, and this one is from Sahih Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah, Bukhari, this is al Bukhari, Hadith number six nine three. <laughs> You know. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm seeing all this. Oh, yeah. I'm disappointed. So, my yeah. friend, after all of this, are you still a Muslim? Mm -hmm. uh, CP, I have to tell you, I have to say no. Yeah. Glory yeah. to the Lord. I'm happy for you, my friend, that you decide yeah. to leave. Because, because, well, because, yeah, because I've been struggling with it for a long time, and um, yeah. Well, I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam, but now I have a duty, you know. <laughs> I think so. We have to go to something more serious from the funny, stupid uh, stories no. of this uh, culture. Yeah. So, what, still, what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord and Savior? I still, I still believe in God, and yeah, still believe in God. Of um, and um, you, you know, you know. No, no, I'm asking I'm, you. Don't, don't escape from my my question. I'm yeah. asking you, what yeah. do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord? Yeah, you know, I've been I've been reading, you know, Bible uh, literature and so many things, and um, our 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 mind has been poisoned so much against uh, Christianity and any other religion. But um, you know, um, the veil has been lifted off my eyes, and I'm seeing things in a totally different different way now. Seeing things, things differently. Uh, I'm seeing things differently. Um, I have Christian friends. I've been talking to them, and um, yeah, I, you know, um, the more I talk to them, the more I I see their worldview, and it's totally different. And hey, I live in the West, and I see the development all over here, you know. And the Muslims too, they 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 want to run, they want to come here, they want to run to come to come to this land. And um, my friend, I just have to say it. If there, is, if there is something preventing you from accepting Jesus as your Lord, as your Savior, it's just it's just arrogance. Yeah, just arrogance. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, uh, you know, we have. Uh, you see, yeah. If if the Messiah is the highest yeah. quality we can find oh, to it's follow, just arrogance. But I have to confess to you, I went to. Uh, uh, Christmas party yesterday, and and I, I did enjoy every inch of it. Um, yeah, yeah, but my friend, was, Christ is not a Christmas party. Christ is not parties. Christ is something different. It's good to be happy. I'm not against people being happy, but yeah. don't, don't be confused between uh, uh, Christianity and uh, people having a party. That does not make me. Uh, or the, make them Christians. What make us a Christians? Jesus said, "If I'm, I know my sheep, and they knew, and they, and my sheep they knew me, and from their fruits you shall know them." Okay. So okay. Christianity make okay. you happy, like okay. make people happy. Okay. CP, hmm. tell me, tell me one thing yeah. that totally differentiates uh, Christianity from Islam that makes it that that makes it look different. Like them, yeah. Everything starting from love your enemy, bless them, pray, yeah. pray for them. That's something yeah. you cannot find in any belief, not only. Yeah, yeah, is totally yeah. against it, but you cannot yeah. find this in any belief in the world. Bless those it's who they are trying to hurt you. Jesus in the cross, he says, Father, forgive yeah. them. They do not know what they are doing. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. So, uh, uh, and, this yeah. is why I said to you a second ago, he said, From it's their true. fruits, you shall know them. So, how do we know Christ? Not because of a Christmas party, we know Christ. <gasps> um, you see, fruits. yeah, I was talking to this Christian uh, friend of mine, uh, like almost like, uh, like a week ago. And he told me that Christianity has redemption. Redemption means that even if you make a mistake, you can come back and beg, and you know, and and beg for forgiveness. In Islam, if you steal, they cut your hand. That means you are branded for life. So, so, so Christianity has hope in humanity and has hope that you can change, that you can become a better person. Islam. They brand you for life. They cut your hand or, your, or they cut your leg. And that means forever they brand you as a bad person. You can never change. You know, so that really hit me. You know, you know that, that was profound to me to say that, okay, uh, Christianity looks up to you that there is hope in change. But in Islam, no, it says, no, there is no hope. They, you know, they either cut you or they stone you to death and you have no chance of, of repentance or redemption. That really hit me. 
And, and, um, and another thing that he told me, he said in Christianity, it is not what you eat into your mouth that condemns you. It is what comes out of your mouth. You know, that one, you know, I hold that too. It's a very powerful message to me. He said, all this, don't eat, th don't eat this, don't drink this. He said, it's bullshit. He said, what matters is what comes out of your mouth, whether it's good thing, whether it's good words. You know, that is also very, very, and another thing that I learned from Christianity is the idea of forgiving and loving, even if someone hurt you. In Islam, we don't have that. You, If someone do, do something, you want to revenge. And, you know, if if someone slap you once, you want to slap that person 10 times, you know? So, yeah. You know, yeah. There's, a, there's a Muslim, he don't agree either with me or with you, and actually he's speaking to me. Yeah. Uh, he is saying that the Christian prince, he lied and he said, and I'm posting in the screen, he said, Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2564, says, Allah did not see your look or your worth, but he sees your heart and deeds. Okay, well, I have in a screen in front of me, Mr. Uh, don't block me again. This is okay. your prophet saying, the one who is talking to me in the chat, verily okay. Allah has the fixed portion of adultery, which a man will indulge in which he of necessity must commit the adultery of the eye etc etc so look what your god is saying you just said to me that your prophet says allah will see only he don't see your look he see your deeds but yeah. the adultery is what allah he forced you to do it says yeah. a necessity you must commit does it say that yeah. does it say yeah. that yeah, his, so yeah. Allah he wrote for you a necessity sin you have to commit and that yeah. even adultery So how you say to me Allah he don't see your look he don't see your deed We showed you Muhammad speaking about the look of the black person We showed <laughs> you the hadith speaking about the, the the African are born from the shoulder of Adam And they will go to hell according to your prophet and the white people they will go to heaven according to your prophet And we showed <laughs> you that the the, the, the the black dog is the devil and we showed mm. you that the black stone used to be white like milk and became black because of the sin and yeah. now we are showing you that your prophet saying that every deed you do is written by the order of Allah and whatever you try you cannot get away from you have to commit it when Adam and Eve sorry when Adam he have a debate with the uh, uh, with Musa's according to Muhammad how they met I don't don't ask me Muhammad have his own fiction stories so uh -huh. uh, uh, Adam and Musa, they have an argument, and uh, and Musa says to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Uh, Musa says to him, how you, you know, how you blame me for a fate written by Allah for me, forty years before my creation, which I have to commit. Forty years. Forty years before his creation, which means even the sin of Adam. It is not the sin of Adam; it is the sin of Allah. Read carefully. Does it say because, here? And this is Sahih. Here we go. This is Sahih. So they would not say to us, "This is we." As you do, you blame me for doing a deed which Allah has decreed that I shall do forty years before He created me. So the guy who says to me, "Allah, don't look at your look. You don't look at your deed. Even your deed is not your deed. It's a stupid cult." Mm. So Adam's sin is not a sin of Adam. It's a sin of Allah. Okay. Now we need to ask a question. If Allah is the one who make us sin, so why He will punish us and why He will reward us? Yes. Why Adam true. was kicked out of heaven? He commit yeah. no sin, and this is why Adam uh, Musa is confused. As you see, look like here Musa he believe as a Christians that Adam is the reason for us to go out of heaven. Look, uh, the Muslim here and Muhammad, by the way, he proved that uh, uh, Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad he claimed that Musa is a Muslim. So yeah. now Musa, after he dies, still he think. That Adam is the reason for us to go out of heaven. That's mean Musa is a Christian. He is not a Muslim Because he <sighs> believe in the original sin So Musa he have a dispute with, uh, with, with Adam speaking about you are our father You deprived us and cause us to come out of paradise This is the opinion of Musa about what Adam did so but Adam said, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, but, but here we, we, we get Muhammad busted in two things They claim that Musa was a Muslim but Muslim don't believe in the original sin of Adam, correct? Yeah. Okay, but this yeah. is Musa's after he died. So Musa's he died, but yet he did not understand the original sin concept. And he is a prophet of Allah. And Allah even spoke to him directly. And he even he wrote the Torah for him by his hand. 
Yet Allah did not explain to Musa that it's not Adam to play. What is he didn't explain? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, this is the most silly statement ever. And the same time, so if you Muslim believe that my fate is written for me before I do anything, and what is written for me, I would do. Then why, why, why will we go to heaven? Why will we go to hell? And yeah. in different hadith, Muhammad he says, doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's uh, uh, um, a person before he die, or let us say, uh, a person who is doing the work of uh, heaven. Yes. And almost he is going to go to heaven. This is Sahih Bukhari. I'm not here. We go Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number six five nine four. So Muhammad he said, and he was committing about how uh, Allah He created the baby. He says that you are a, a sperm for forty days. You are a sperm. Uh, you are a clot of a blood for forty days, and you are a piece of a flesh for forty days. So total creation of the baby is one hundred twenty days, which is funny. Mm -hmm. And then that he said, Allah He write for you. He ordered the angel to write four things. His provision, mm -hmm. his age, whether he will be uh, of the uh, witched or the blessed. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then it says here, Muhammad, he swear, he swear, he said, uh, he said, by Allah, I swear, and by Allah, a person among you or um, a man may be, may do the deeds of people of fire. Then yeah. There is only one cupid or an arm breathe with distance between him and fire. Okay. Yeah, and then and what uh, is written by Allah will take order. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember this hadith when I was uh, when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So then, what Allah wrote for you will proceed. And then He does the the, the deed of uh, of paradise and enter paradise. So yeah, what I want to believe in Islam at the end of the day, it's what Allah wrote for me. <laughs> it, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And then He said the opposite. Look, He says He gives us the other scenario. He says. And a man he may do the deeds of people of paradise till there is only one, uh, only a cupid or two between him and paradise. And then what had written for him proceed, and he does yeah. the deed of people of fire and he enter it. So yeah. when a Muslim he quote for me as a, a, a statement from his prophet, you are quoting for me nothing but a bunch of confused statement of a madman. Because if we put them all together, nothing makes sense. Mm. So, so um, CP, in your opinion. So, so, uh, Muhammad, do you think he was lying or something was wrong with him? Well, that's why or... I believe, I believe Muhammad, he had many problems. I believe he's a liar. I believe he's mentally ill in the same time. And I believe he have a double personality. Mm. You know, he had many, many issues, obviously. You know, even, even the hadith confirmed to us that Muhammad, he imagined that he had done things, but in fact, he did not. So how we can even trust and that will be additional to all the madness he came with and to like let us say the nail in the coffin the last nail muhammad is a bewitched according to muslims how we want to follow a person you believe he's bewitched and how we yeah. can trust a person he imagined that he had done a thing maybe he he maybe he imagined he saw a jibreel <laughs> maybe he imagined somebody speaking to him those who imagine things they hear voices and yeah, but he never, yeah, but he never showed anyone, and nobody ever, ever, ever saw. There's Jibreel. no witnesses for anything. He went to heaven. Even his wife, she did not see anything, uh, as usual. And in the same time, uh, uh, you know, uh, the stories of Muhammad are proving to us that he have a mental illness. Hmm. Everything actually he is teaching us is, is a is a is a collection of mental illness, and this is why the Arab they make fun of him. In the morning he says something, afternoon he change it. You know, he have a double personality. Even his sex is not true. Have you ever heard of a person he imagined himself having sex with his wife, but in fact he did not? So how far this man he was delusionate? How much his sickness was taking effect on him? Yeah, it's true. The prophet, this is Ayesha saying, this is the witness, the, the bed witness, not somebody from the neighbor. The prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wife, but in fact he did not. I mean, how far the illness is? Okay, with his wife, and, and he did not. One day he said to me, "Oh, Aisha, about which I had asked him." Forget about all this garbage. Uh, we we <laughs> prove Islam to be false, and yeah, it's easy. Sometimes I'm and you let Islam, and we were so, just trying to answer this guy who claimed we lied. We don't lie. He is I a think, liar. I now, I'm asking you. Why yeah. you don't accept Jesus as your Lord as we speak? Well, I think um, 
you know, I think the more I, I think about Christianity, the more it looks, uh, it, it looks truthful to me, mm. and the more it looks logical to me, right? Okay. Uh, the more it looks logical. Okay, I give you the one example. That, this example that I just gave you that, okay, in Islam, when you make a mistake, you are punished for life. Hmm. If you commit adultery, you are stoned to death. You don't have, you, 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 don't, you don't have the opportunity hmm. to, to repent and become a good person. Um, when you steal the cut off your hand and your leg, you are branded for life. You become a liability on the society. And when anybody see you, they know that you are a thief. When I was a kid, there are uh, people from my country that came back from Saudi Arabia with their hands cut because they stole in Saudi Arabia and they brought them back to my country. For life, everybody will know, oh, those people, they are thieves, right? Yeah. But in Christianity, nobody is going to brand you. You have the opportunity to become a good person, to reform yourself. That is very powerful to me. I find it very, very powerful. And in the West, when you look at the prison system in the West, it's called a penitentiary. That means a place where you go and reform yourself. That is okay. If a human being can think of that, that okay, go to prison and become a better person, then how come God can't think of how to make people better? You know, why why cut their hands, cut their legs? brand them for lives that they can change or everybody when you say oh that person oh he's a thief you know so it looks like christianity is more logical to me you know it, it makes more sense then the idea of love loving your neighbor loving everybody near you look at what happened during christmas here people giving gifts you know that makes a lot of sense to me you know and apart from that, look at Christian countries. They help a lot of countries. Look, America gives money to every, every country all over the world. You can Even countries that hate America, America gives them money. Isn't that crazy? And isn't that something How to... we talk about the American. American, they donate the most in the world, actually. Uh, yeah. Even though they are not really the most rich compared to... There's some Arab, they are extremely rich. But nobody donates as much as the American. Yeah, they donate money, even even though these countries, what they give them money, but when yeah, they pray, you see, uh, they forget about all of this. Yeah, you see, I mean, the, uh, you made a point that uh, uh, yeah. if somebody he did commit a sin, you cut his hand, right? And Muhammad yeah. he made it if you if you steal an egg. You see, and this is the ugly thing about it because somebody he's stealing an egg, is an angry person, he's yeah, not a thief, yeah, a thief, a real thief. He will not steal an egg. He will steal jewelries. Yes. Right, yeah. Somebody is still an egg. Actually, either he he is hungry or he want to feed his kids. So how you cut his hands? Yes, yes. you know. Yes. Where is the mercy? Where is the the mercy? And where is the reform? The person can never reform again. You know, he is branded for life, for and he can't walk anymore. Oh, the thief! Does his children will be the son of the thief forever? You know, he is branded. If he stole an so, egg. If he stole an egg or a piece of robe, his hand will be cut. And Muhammad is the biggest thief in history. Why he did not practice that himself? How many women he stole from their husband? So he go out of somebody stealing an egg, but he himself the biggest thief. And in the same time, let us say to this person, he, he, he stole an egg. And uh, he want to eat it. Okay. And theft is bad. Yeah. But how the Quran promotes theft? And says their money is yours. Take their money from them. Is it a theft? How is it legal? I mean, it's just so wicked and so brutal. There is a guy. There is a there is a hadith uh, uh -huh. about a guy who stole first time. They cut his hand. Muhammad. He said, uh, kill him. They said, prophet, but he stole only uh, you know once. He said, okay, cut his hand. Then he came back. He stole again. They cut the, the the other opposite side of his uh, body, which is the foot. So now sure. he have his right hand is gone, his left foot is is gone. And then sure. supposed that he stole again, and then he cut his hand, uh, the the left hand, and then he stole for the first time. And here we cannot explain how in the world a person he have no hands, he can steal anymore. I mean, this is the but this is a, a stupidity in Islamic stories. They, you know, I I, I believe that this is a story is fabricated. 
But and I still believe it. Justice from God. I yeah. mean, oh, yeah. no. So first time, second time, I got it. Okay. Now he's, he still have a hand. Okay. So I can say that uh, the, the person is a creep in his belly and he's stealing. But now he have no two hands. He have no feet. And yet he's still again. So how, how in the world do you want to steal this guy? He have no feet. He have no hands. Yes, they say he steal, and then they 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 stone him. So it is it is stupid, and you can see that the lack of intel intellect. The the person who steal an egg is not a bad person. Is yes. not because you see he stole an egg. He's hungry. Yeah, he's hungry. he is. He have he have a problem. You know. Yeah. He, because, because if he's a bad person, he will go and he will steal something and he will yeah, risk yeah, the yeah. life he of others. Still, he, he, will, he, he will kill, he take still the still money of uh, all your wallet. He will not take uh, an egg, you know. He's still food. He's hungry. Yeah, yeah he's hungry. is. He is just pushing. He did not even take the chicken. He took the egg of the chicken. Yeah, you know. He's so yeah. where is the mercy and where is justice? And you know, this is this is a very stupid behavior. And you know, funny, yeah. you are talking about redemption. By the way, I'm wearing a T-shirt. It's scared. It's, it says redemption. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know not only you see the the god is god of in intellect and intelligence like you see mm -hmm. when we see a muslim in the in the chat he is quoting for me from the book of psalm and he says that god he hate this is a lie translation my friend you are fa you are, you are a fabricator anybody can go and read psalm 55 five, and you will see how you are a liar it is bullshit i actually, mean actually let us not use bad word please and here you will see even even you even you, the one who quotes Psalm 5 5, you see that that, that chapter is speaking about the fool. And obviously, you are fooling yourself by lying to yourself. Because anyone can go right now and read the chapter, and everybody will see that you are lying. So yeah. Islam is the defense of Islam is based on lies. We cannot yeah. find a Muslim, he can defend Islam by saying the truth. Like they say to you, How you believe in the Trinity? Okay, what is the problem with the Trinity? They say, How God can be, my friend, how God cannot be, He is God. Um, you see, uh, you see, uh, CP. You know, my answer always is okay. By their fruit, you shall know them. Okay, just look at the result of Muslim countries, which is disaster. The you know, forget about Trinity. Forget about all those. You know, all those Trinity. No, tri I don't. I don't care about Trinity. What is the result? You know. If your lack of Trinity give you destruction, you destroy your country. Syria, they say it will take 500 years to build back Syria. You no, know, no, so they will never build it because they, they destroy the history of Syria, which is not the history of the Arab, the history of the Aramaic. Of that country, and and you are, and you are still talking about Trinity. It's just it's 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 madness. It's stupidity. You know, I can't even understand why people will even listen to them. Okay, Trinity gave us America, gave us all these beautiful countries. Everybody wants to come to these countries. Yeah. My, my friend, until now, I do not know your, what your name. Better. What I shall call you. I do not need to say your name. What's, what I shall call you. Okay. What, what name I shall call you? Ahmad, Muhammad, Ali. I don't know what's your name. Ah, my name is Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Yeah. Okay, no problem, Mahmoud. Listen, yeah. when, when a Muslim, he says, how God can be, and don't you see here the hypocrisy? And I will explain to you. Yes. You know, if when if you go in the Quran, let us go to the Quran right now, me and you. And yeah. if we go in the Quran, we will find that Muslims, the Quran itself, using a logic saying, How Allah can have a son and he don't have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know, but do you know what this is mean? That's mean Allah cannot be God. Because Allah is saying to us. Uh -huh. He cannot be a person who can have a son unless he have a sex with the women. Oh, right? I understand what you're saying. Right. That, okay. yeah. yeah. So if Allah cannot have a son unless yeah. he have a girlfriend, that's mean Allah is like me. I cannot have a son too unless yeah. I have a girlfriend or a wife. Oh, so, okay, what what you're saying is if you're God, you should be able to make son without without anything. Yeah. But yeah. the God of Mary, he was able to give Mary a son, but he don't have a boyfriend. Yeah. You know? So the God of Islam, he gave us, he himself, he questioned mm. uh, his ability. Right? Yes. Yes. I understand. When, yeah. yeah. When you say uh, uh, how God can have a son, who is mm. saying that? Allah. How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Yeah. 
Mm, yeah. So when Allah He says such a statement, He is the one is questioning one thing: His ability. Mm. And then, <laughs> if you question the ability mm. of yourself, then yeah. you cannot be God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The God of the Christians, He can. The God yes. of Islam, He cannot. When they yes. say to you, when they say to you that God, the Quran says, if Allah wants something to be, He say be, and He was. Or yeah. two ago, he is saying, he is, yeah, yeah, he is saying, uh, how Allah can have a son, but he don't have a girlfriend. How can he? How can he? Well, I thought he is the Almighty. This is Almighty. Yeah, he should be. Uh, he should be used. Any, he could make anything with anything. Anything. Yeah. He do not need a woman. The same as Mary, she have no man, but yet she was able to have a, a child. Same mm -hmm. time, uh, when the Muslims they say to you. How God can be three person but yet one? Yeah. Well, if God cannot be whatever He is, then God cannot be God. You see, you are questioning what the ability of God. How can He? <laughs> you, you see how they contradict themselves. Well, in yeah, one yeah. hand, they say to us, Allah, He can do anything, which means God can do anything. But in but the then, in the same moment, He say, How Allah can be three? I need a woman. You know, to make it, so, so, yeah, yeah. Well, how yeah. He can be three? That is not a question to ask for God because I can ask all the how, how you can create the earth, how you can create the heaven, how you can create the stars, how you can create. So either he can or he cannot. So don't call him almighty. So yeah, that's, the, the, the that's logic true. of Islam prove Allah to be not almighty God, not only because of a wrong understanding of science, history. He can't even pronounce name correctly. Muhammad, he, you see, he, like if you if you go to the chapter of Al-Ana'a, uh, 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 I mean, who is Amran? There's nobody. His name is Amran. The father, Alim. And, and, Alim. and he claimed huh? that Mary her father is Imran but the mm. fact Mary this is the this is the father of Moses and this is why later Muhammad he called her and the Quran called Mary the sister of Aaron why because uh, Aaron and Moses they have a sister her name is Maryam mm. so even historical mistakes even science mistakes even creation mistakes endless mistakes in the so, book of that logic so you mean that Al Imran doesn't really exist there's no, uh, there's nobody. His name is Amran. Who's Amran? You go, wow. go to the Old Testament. You will see there's Amram, not Amran, Amram. So he got the name wrong <laughs> because he do not know what uh, how the Jews are saying it. So he he, he copy and he no he copy and uh, and actually uh, you know like uh, I was I was uh, uh, I'm trying to find some document to see that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, mm -hmm. the sister of Aaron. And, mm. and, Ukhtar. Yeah, uh, Ukhtar. he uh -huh. said that she have a son whose name is Isa and most Isa. likely and most likely that this is coming from where that Mary this woman she have a son his name is Isa so he's confused mm. really between again Jesus between Jesus the Christ the son of Mary <laughs> which have nothing to do with his family even not from the tribe of Moses. you know Mary the mother of Jesus is not even from the tribe of Moses but look this is the chapter of Amran. If you ask any Muslim, they will say to you, this is the family of Amran. This is the family of Moses. This is the family of me, uh, of Isa the, mm -hmm. uh, and Mary and Zechariah. But but those, what, what Zechariah and what are you talking about? What what those have to do together? They have nothing to, do, to share together. They are totally different tribe. Totally, totally different. Wow, yeah, wow. They are totally wow. different tribe. So the God of Islam, how he can be almighty, it's mission impossible. Because simply he is ignorant in history, he is ignorant in 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 science, he is ignorant even in language. Uh, like, oh, 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 ask any Muslim, what does this is mean? Alif lam mean? Any Muslim can tell me what alif lam mean? mean? Yeah, no, no, you know, I think they said there are secret letters. No, nobody knows that. Okay, well, I, I'm going to make a secret letters right now. F O A. <laughs> Here we go. I have a miracle. You know, what, what does that mean? What alif lam mean? Muhammad, he was trying to copy. You know, he's he's copying it from a book. You see, when Muhammad he when when Waraka Ibn Nawfal he died. Ibn Nawfal. Mm -hmm. Muhammad he tried to commit suicide. I'm not sure if you know about that. Uh, you said uh, uh, when Muhammad. Waraka when Waraka he 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 died. Uh, Muhammad he tried to commit suicide many times. But why? It says it clearly here, and I will show you in the front of your eyes. When Waraka he died. The inspiration and the the the, the wahi stop. No the wait, uh, wait uh, from where did he get this? The Sahih Bukhari. 
Hmm. You know? So it says here. Uh, uh, can, uh, uh, can you show me, please? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm opening the hadith here in front of me. It hmm. says here. Uh, okay. But after a few days, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was also passed for a while. And Allah and, and the Prophet of uh, uh, Allah pray on him and salute him yeah. become so sad. So we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. To throw himself from the oh my goodness. And every time he went there, the angel he appeared to him and he says, Don't do it. You are a, a truly a prophet of Allah. But why he did that? Look, what is the relationship between Muhammad trying to commit suicide and the death of Waraka? Anybody can tell me? It says it clearly there, not me. The divine inspiration was also post. Wow. Because this is where Muhammad was receiving his Quran. So now he's in trouble. Where he will get this Quran from? Either he have to make one or he <laughs> have to copy. And Waraka he died. But look, if we go back a little bit, you will see that Waraka, and this is the Muslim introduction for him. It says mm -hmm. he became Nasara, not Christian. Nasara became yeah. a Christian and used to write an Arabic writing. And he used to write of the gospel in Arabic. This is the Quran. Then Qusay. So wait. Ah, you know what? Hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know what? So why? Um. Okay. When you listen to many Muslim uh, like um, preachers, they say Muhammad had never had contact with any Christian. So if Waraka is Christian, then ah, then that means. No, no, no see, the Muslims agree that Khadija she was Nasara and Waraka was Nasara, and I believe Waraka he is no, the no, 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 no. What is in you said in Islamic history Khadija was uh, Nasara? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, Nasara, yeah, but she, Nasara is not really Christian. No, this is the ignorance oh. of the of, of Islam. They think oh, okay. Nasara is a Christian, Nasara is a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses, you know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And this okay. is why Muhammad he getting all those ideas, you know, wrong ideas because he did not meet really. Uh, really Christians around him. He is under the influence of his father, which is Waraka bin Ophel. You know, he was sleeping with his mother before he uh, uh, came to existence. And this mm -hmm. is why we, if you have my book, you will find that the sister of Waraka, she offered the father of Muhammad 100 camel when he was in his way to sleep with the mother of Muhammad. And mm -hmm. when he said, no, I have to go first to uh, 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 this woman and then I will go back to you and then when he came back after he finished sleeping with her she told him I do not need you no more so obviously Muhammad father according to their history he was a jagalo who sleep around for money and the same mm -hmm. time uh, uh, you ask yourself why why everything in Islam about Muhammad is waraka there when Muhammad he was lost his way the one who found him he was a child he, he was with waraka the mm -hmm. one who uh, 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 like in, endure him as a prophet, it was Waraka. Yep. The one who Muhammad tried to commit suicide after his death is Waraka. I mean, what? who is the one you uh, and or me? We will willing to suicide, commit suicide for his death. I mean, how much we are attached to this person? You know what I mean? Yeah. This wow. Is, this is this is, this is not normal unless there is a special relationship between him <coughs> and Muhammad. This is making and, sense. And, uh, and you will notice here in the story. That when he saw the angel Khadija, she was married to uh, Khadija herself. She is she is a uh, she is a relative to Waraka. And here we go. It says Waraka ibn Ufal, ibn Asad ibn Abdul Uzza ibn Qusay. Waraka was the son of the pa uh, paternal uh, uncle, i.e., her father, which means to Khadija. So this is a family. You know, this guy is a the 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 Khadija. Her is uh, is like she is his niece, and Muhammad is his son. And he is the one who is trying to create a new Christian cult in the Arabian Peninsula. Islam is not Islam is not meant to be a new religion as it's it is a new cult. And then Muhammad, when Waraka he left him alone, so he started going left and right, and he started accepting ideas, some from the Jews, some from the Christians, some from the uh, the pagan Arab, and all of this made the new cult. It's called Islam. Now we go back to zero, my friend. Why you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, 
I think Christianity is is the truth. Yeah. So do you accept? I invite you. Do you accept the Messiah as your savior mm -hmm. and your only savior to go to heaven? Yeah, I do. I uh, do. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, uh, I'm really happy for for you, my friend. Yeah. I uh, do. You know, it's it's difficult. You know, because we are, we are brought up so arrogant. So. We don't we don't we just don't want to give we just we anyway, think we are much better than everybody but you know when you just look at it you just know it's bullshit we, we don't we, yes, you know, we let, us, let us not use a bad language my friend remember now you are a christian yeah, from okay. any bad language and yeah don't you accept the messiah i'm asking you do you accept that the father the son the holy spirit is one god yes yes do you accept, do. Do you accept that the messiah he died in the cross i do okay. do you accept that he was resurrected Okay. I do. I, I do. invite I you, do. my friend, to give yourself and your your soul to the Messiah, so he can receive okay. you right now as we speak in his kingdom. The Bible says, "A happiness will be in the kingdom of of God, of the Lord, of the Father, for one soul is saved." And today, it's your day. Today, my friend, you are. Your name is written in the book of life. The Messiah, yes. he said, "Whoever believe in me and die, he will live." Yeah, so today, you. you receive the eternal life by his name. And we pray for you to be guided, to be truthful, to be useful for all people around you, including the Muslims, and never hate the Muslims. Remember, we are not here to hate the Muslims. We will never hate them. And I know. You just, say, you just know. one of the things you love about Jesus, he says, love your enemy, right? Yep, love your enemy. So let yeah. us practice that. And we start with loving the Muslims and invite them to accept Jesus. We don't, we don't love evil, but we love people even if they are sinners yes. this is why Jesus says I came for the sinner and this is makes sense the doctor he come for the sick he don't come for the healthy right so yes. when people they are saying to him we are talking to those sinners and this is the idea of the Jews who they are so proud you talk to those sinners he said I came for the sinner so being a person who speak to the sinners inviting them showing them guiding them is the way and it is the truth but in Islam is the opposite. The Quran says, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? And this is very funny because if Allah will not guide the one who misguide, he will guide who? The one is guide. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, yeah. You know, even the logic of this cult is weird. Yeah. And it is, it is, it is beyond the religion. Yeah. Yeah. So my friend, I'm so happy for you. Anything you want to say for those people who they are listening, they are happy yeah. for you. You know, I just want to tell everybody, especially, you know, my, uh, I mean, the Muslims, I just want to tell them to, you know, just go read the Quran with a very open heart, with a new, with a new eye, you know, just, op just when you open your mind, when you are reading the, the Quran, you will see the inconsistencies. And apart from that, you will see the result. I mean, Muslim societies, they are not really happy. I have to tell you, I come from one, they're not happy. Everybody is spying on everybody. The society is not well structured. When you know, compared to when you come to the West, you see things are different. You know, people are just so so accepting, so happy. You know, uh, you, you know the difference is clear, as they say. You know, read the Quran with a very open eye, open eye. Then you you will see that you've been lied to. Yeah, you I mean see that. Yeah, Thank you, you, my friend Mahmoud, for calling us. I have a good time speaking to you, and feel free to invite any of your friends, because yeah. they might say to you, "Oh, he did lie to you. He deceived you." You know, so no, tell them, no. you know what? I'm here. Call him. I will be listening. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So thank you for calling. I have to uh, let you go, and I pray that thank the Lord so will be with thank you. you. And uh, I'm so grateful. Thank you. And don't forget, somebody from the Christian here in the chat is saying, "Don't forget." To confess your sin but my friend he said already that he spoke about what he liked about Christianity is redemption oh, so yeah, already yeah. he confessed his sin already he understand that. yeah thank yes. you my friend take care God bless you thank you thank you so much bye okay. do we have any Muslim want to fix what happened any Muslim want to fix what happened you see the your, our friend here, our brother, he just left Islam and he became a Christian. Maybe if you call me, you can fix it and get him back into Islam so he can get the versions. This guy, he gave up the versions and the couches and the pillow, which Allah will give him in heaven. Any Muslim would like to call me? 
uh, a person his name Oh, to come. Okay, let's see this person. Is he a Muslim? For sure. Let us see. Well, it says called declined. So I don't know why he gave you the the call declined. Uh, he said five minutes. Well, I don't know if I'm going to wait for you, my friend. But he declined my call. You see, uh, uh, they can say whatever they want, but obviously Islam cannot stand can't stand anything. Can't stand a simple little tiny question. Prince would debate a person in Arabic. Well, no problem. We can debate in Arabic, but you have to translate. You see, because all my audience, they are people who speak English. So if you want to call me and you are willing to translate every sentence you say to me twice, one in Arabic, one in English, I have no problem. Is that fair, guys? Because people here, they have the right to understand what you are saying. It's not going to be nice that we have a thousand people at least listening, which is a small number compared to usual. And then we speak in the language nobody understands. But if you are willing to translate every statement you say to me twice, go ahead, be my guest. I will be happy to have you. Anyone? Actually, for me, it's a lot easier if we if we debate in Arabic because it saved me from the headache of it says in translation the lies. You know, we read the original text as it is. Who there? <coughs> Anyone? <coughs> There is one he said he will call me after five minutes, <coughs> but I'm losing my voice. <coughs> uh, Bomba, he is challenging me in the Chinese. No problem, we can debate in Chinese. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Actually, when you read the Quran, it's like speaking in Chinese. Because the author of the Quran and the reader of the Quran and the writer of the Quran, nobody understand what the Quran is saying. This is why when they, try, they explain the Quran, they say Allah knows best. This is why you read any, any verse in the Quran, you will see that the, the scholar brother, they agree about, not to agree about the meaning of this verse. <clears throat> this is the only agreement. They agree about not to agree about the meaning of this verse. So... <coughs> this is the only agreement the guessing book and the funny Muhammad in order to cover the the theft he have because he can't explain what is there you see because he's a thief he doesn't know what is right you know the verses which is about women sex this is Muhammad verses other verses, the, the, the one is the, in details and they have like some, they need a good explanation. Muhammad had no idea what to say. So look what he said. He said that the Quran is two part. One is so clear and one is any clear. And the one is any clear, nobody know its meaning save Allah. Have you ever heard of a book like this? And searching its hiding meaning except Allah. Nobody knows their hiding meaning save Allah. So Allah, he sent us a book 
and this book is two part one is a clear and the one is not a clear which is 90% of it nobody knows its meaning save Allah so which one is clear <coughs> hello hello Mm -hmm. Yes, we hear you. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Take a hike. We thought we thought you are an eagle. It turned to be a duck. Quack quack. Anyone? This is religion and this is God. Anyone? All right. Well, I'm I'm happy today that our our time was not wasted. We have a brother who accepted the Messiah from Sudan. And we showed him that Shia or Sunni both they believe in racism. Islam is a racist cult, uh, false in every way. Every the reasons of belief is false in Islam. The reason of belief. Why? Why? Why you want to believe in Islam? Because you want to go to heaven to get those, to get a pillow. Have you ever heard of a god like this promising me pillows? Why? Because the Arab they are used to be poor, and the one who have pillows is the Roman and the Persian. Pillows? Are you serious, brother? Yes, brother. You will have pillows. You will have a green shirt. And made it from silk. Green shirt made it from silk in Iran. Yes, made in Iran. And uh, it's called and, the, and even he gave it the brand name. It's called Stabrak. Stabrak is very well known. Uh, made silk from Iran so Allah will import from Iran you know to heaven Istabraq. and what else uh, brother you will uh, you will give us uh, honey this is heaven and what else brother you will give us women you open a box you find a lot of those and they are very wide party party and what else brother I cannot show you the picture but we can show you the verse because the picture will be a problem you know this is the reason to convert to Islam read it This is the reason why you are lying to us. All those articles, none of them he gave us the real reasons. The Quran mentioned the reasons. Because the promise of Allah is the reason to believe in what? In Allah promise. Right? Uh, uh, the guy, he says, Jesus, he promised a throne to his disciple why not a chair you see this is because you are a silly person and you are trying to make fun of a very very uh, you know very high uh, uh, a statement of the Messiah nothing in the heaven of God in our God is literally physical this is why he said he and she they will not get married they will be the same as angels so angels don't have physical needs no sex no food no treasure because the treasure is to be with God so because you are silly and you don't want to understand you try to make something out of something but we laugh at you here we are speaking about something real when Jesus he speak about anything in heaven like when Jesus said the one who drink my water he will never be thirsty is he talking about drinking water why Jesus was used to carry a cup of water go around so either you are being silly 
and you know that he means a spiritual meaning or you know you are trying to hide it and you are a liar so which one are you the city or the liar choose one both of them they fit for you maybe but here we see a God he is a promising us women with big breasts and people they will be drinking non-stop and they hit cheers and not only that <clears throat> in this heaven you will have an open buffet have only grape and uh, chicken meat or bird meat hmm? and little boys going around him this is your heaven Handsome boys going around you. How many? 80,000 little boys. And they are, again, the racist Muhammad. They have to be white. Why? Because in Islam, this is the beauty creation. This is the beauty creation of Allah. This is heaven. Right? So everything is embarrassing in the Bible metaphor. Well, this is very funny of you uh, to say embarrassing because what is the embarrassing of Jesus promising me uh, anything in heaven? You did not. Did Jesus promise me a big boobs like your prophet? I have to put you in the block again because you are just an idiot. It's embarrassing that you think it's embarrassing. This is what is embarrassing. That's when you are immature. You are here for the last two hours you fail to give us anything you think it's embarrassing and look at you in order to avoid answering the stupidity in your book you try to divert the topic to make it about Jesus but you fail because nothing we can compare between what Jesus said and what the Quran said it's an insult actually to compare between what Jesus said and what Allah said Can you show me where Jesus he promised us women with big breasts or women they have a private part nobody touch in heaven I'm just trying to be polite not to say what exactly it says because the Quran doesn't say really they are not being touched the Quran says something totally different I'm not going to read it I will show you all right <clears throat> I will show you and this is your Muslim translation and you read it do you see it is that a metaphorical no you will be sitting in your couches you will have two spring of water flowing I don't know why two But I can explain one of them is the water of life and the one the water of will make you white Any one of you watch the video uh, made by the Dean show Anyone remember? It's called the description of paradise the shake in the video in the Dean show he says to you before you enter paradise There's two angels. They will give you a drink to drink and One of them will make you young in the age of 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 Jesus and the other one will make you white and beautiful like prophet Joseph the water of whitening and the water of life will bring you back to your young age Here we see those water and here you see the Muhammad because he is just making a statement uh, Arabic music he said things which is a stupid did you see did you notice that Allah will give every Muslim to heaven did you notice that and look at this translation what monotheism it doesn't say anything it says all of this this translation is very weird man 
what uh, let us go to, to someone another idiot look how he became small now what happened but for him who feared standing before his lord there's two heaven two jannah two jannah i thought how many jannah we have but the reason muhammad he made them to anyone knows why he's making a rap he have to end the end of the letter with the letter a n you see to get the ban jannatan to get the ban to get the ban jannatan afnan so in order to make arab music he made it to the heaven to heaven which is a stupid just to make arab music because now he have to add the an and that make them two but are you going to have one heaven or two what, what do you mean to heaven so what one foot in heaven and the other foot in the other heaven and look have you ever heard of a God? He keep repeating the same verse over and over. Look at this. How many times this verse repeated? Look, let us go. Hold on, hold on. Let us go. Just to show you that this guy is just making a stupid rap, as those who go in the stage and they hold their uh, uh, their nuts in the stage when they are talking. Look, in which in the favor of your Lord that you deny. In which of the favor of your Lord you deny? In which of the favor of your Lord you deny? In which of the favor of your Lord? God is saying that. Thank God I am not God. If this is what God do, this is the most boring job ever. I will write a book and every two line I have to add, which is it in the favor of your Lord you deny? Which is it the favor of your Lord you deny? Which is the favor of your Lord you deny? Why you don't train, change the name of the Quran and name it which is the favor of your book? That's it. Why does God is repeat? That's it. Put this word, this sentence at the end. And that's it. We, are, we got it. We got it. <clears throat> and uh, look at this. Look at this one. And for him, the ships who they are in the sea, are you sure? Are you sure that the ships in the sea are for Allah? And this is supposed to we cannot deny. So the cruise ship, I took it many years ago. It was owned by Allah. As I remember, there was a casino inside the ship. This is nothing but a spam if somebody come to your chat he keep posting this you will block him yeah, the ship is me is, is owned by Allah <clears throat> and here by the way this is the 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 video the Muslim they made about the two seas who then you know they they never transgress. This is another stupid mistake in the Quran because Allah He teach supposedly or Aka Muhammad that the fresh water and the salty water never met. Everything is owned by Allah. It's a, a talk is cheap. As long as everything is owned by Allah. What about Allah? He dumped a lot of food in the Sudan in, in the people in Sudan and Somalia. What, why Allah don't dump a lot of food on the and the Palestinians who supposedly they are getting donation from the United Nation? Where is the everything is owned by Allah? Why you are waiting for the donation of the American? Why Egypt and Jordan and Sudan and uh, 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 all Islamic countries they live by the assistant of USA, including Pakistan? Your rice, your bread is your oil, oil uh, cooking oil is paid by USA. Where is Allah food? Will I ask my God? We say every day, we say, we say, when we pray, we say, Our Father out of heaven, and He give us. You Muslims, your God is not giving you. Even when you want to have security, you come to our land. You don't stay in your land. The most amazing thing is a gift from God is to have security. Do you have security? You have no security, you have no justice. What, what is left in Islamic countries?
Nothing. <clears throat> he have give us penalty. Where is this? Number one thing he did not give you is a brain. Can you give me? Okay, Mr. Muhammad, it's a challenge for you to call me right now and give me one thing Allah he gave you you can confirm. Not just a statement. Is that fair, guys? Do you think Mr. Muhammad can call me right now and show us anything with the proof, not a statement? Because I can say, uh, even the brain you have, I give it to you, if you have a brain. Talk is a cheap. So can you call me and prove to me that Allah, he gave anything, anything, anything of your choice? I don't care what it is. <coughs> Do we have a deal? What do you think? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim? He can give us any proof that Allah, he can give anything. It's a challenge. See, guys, the question does not make sense. A second ago, you were saying to me, Allah, he gave us everything, and now the question does not make any sense. You just said, Allah, he gave us anything. Can you prove to me he gave you anything? Anything, just prove it to me. Because anyone can say the same. <clears throat> do you have a proof? As an example, do you see the verse by mistake? We stop in it. How Allah, he says such a stupid verse. That the salty water and the fresh water, they never mix. Is that your God is talking? If he is the one who made the two water, first how he consider the fresh water sea? Your God do not know the difference between the sea and the fresh water? This is God is talking. He think the fresh water is a sea. And he think... <clears throat> that this fresh water and the salty water never mix. <laughs> How this is can be God? You see, if I ask you as an example, now who is the one who gave us the two seas? You will say, Allah. Can you name them for me? Mr. Muhammad, <clears throat> can you name the two seas for me? Can you? Text me. Text me and let us see how good you are. Here we go. Allah, he called, he gave you two C's. What is the name of the two C's? I mean, this is a simple question. You can open any interpretation. Can't you? How easier I can make it for you. So either the statement here is a stupid or this is a smart st a statement and Allah must be God then. What do you say? <clears throat> Obviously, the one who made this statement, he is an idiot. Let us call Muhammad Qasim. He is shy to call me. I will call him. <laughs> I'm trying to get busted. <laughs> Look, he's <laughs> not answering. not answer because we got you busted in two seconds if Allah he gave you everything how he knew such a stu stupid information that there is two seas one of them is a fresh water and then one of them is 
a salty water and they never transgress against each other so the God of Islam teach that the fresh water is separated and it is a sea and the salty water is separated and it's a sea and separated by what by Barzakh what is Barzakh a dry land here we go the Arabic is so clear I know that the Muslim they make videos saying the water here going in the sea they have two different color stupid stories the Quran doesn't say that the Quran says there's between them Barzakh which is a barrier which is a piece of a dry land so that made the one who made the Quran the author of the Quran believe that the earth contained two seas one is a fresh water and one is salty salt water and Allah made them never met <clears throat> so how Allah can be God and he says such a stupid statement you tell me any Muhammadan And I'm willing to open any interpretation of your choice so we can read together and we can love. Anyone? So you see Muhammad Qasim now is uh, is searching Google, by the way. You know what he's doing now? He's searching Prophet Google. Oh boy. He's asking me for this verse now, what I will say to him. How Allah is the one who made everything. He did not know what he made. Look like your God do not know that the fresh water is coming from the salty water. It's not the, it's not, they are not two separated water. The water of the ocean become a cloud. It's not we have an ocean, we have two seas. Since when the fresh water is a sea? Where we can find that sea? <clears throat> So why you don't answer the call? I called you, Muhammad Qasim. What is the answer? How Allah he he think in such a statement like this? If Allah is God, how he think that the fresh water is not the same as the salty water? It's not coming from the same place. They are totally two separated seas, and they have nothing to do with each other. Hmm? Answer. Anyone have an answer? We did not even flip the page. We were talking about prove to me Allah, and here we go, the verse in front of us. <clears throat> right? Uh, Mr. Fadi, you know, we don't make fun uh, uh, about uh, about Suleiman speaking to the end, but we make fun that Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, and yet he speak to the end. So you are ignorant. Secondly, if you read that verse there, it says that God, he put the words, the sound coming from the mouth of that donkey. It's not the donkey is talking. Read, read the verses, and you will laugh at yourself, at your ignorance. It's not the donkey. This is God giving warning using his angels. But in the Quran, Allah, he taught the language of birds to Suleiman. And yet Suleiman is understanding the language of the ants. In the story of Balaam, he heard his own language, not the language of donkeys. Do you have something better? Imagine I say to you, I teach you English, and then you, I speak to you in German, you understand. That's what the Quran is saying. Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of birds. Let us go to the Quran. Maybe you don't like the idea. No problem. Here we go. Just to show you what is silly about it. Does it say in the Quran that Allah He taught him 
the language of the birds and this is how he did spoke to the hood who is looking for women who have no hair in their legs okay read carefully and cinnamon was david higher <clears throat> and he said oh mankind etc and then we gave him the obedience of all things are truly evident blah, blah 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 okay here it says and we taught him the language of the birds do you see it okay so the Quran says Allah he taught him the language of the birds if we jump one verse after we will find Suleiman laughing at the ants statement now I want your majesty with your intelligence to tell me how Suleiman he learned the language of the birds but yet he understand the ants and by the way the ants are mute and they don't talk they communicate yes all the creatures they communicate but they communicate not by speaking either by vibration or by chemical so how he heard her get to go Muhammad Qasim or oh, he got to go <clears throat> are you there fatty So this is what we are laughing at. And the verse you quote for me, you are quoting it wrong. Well, look like we are out of Muhammadan. So guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Uh, don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. If you speak different languages, add subtitle and pray for our friend from Sudan, our African brother who accepted the Messiah today. And remember we as a Christians we believe that all of all of us we are children of God it doesn't matter if we are Asian black white it doesn't matter me being black, white or black does not make me better than someone who is an Asian and vice versa that is a stupid lie those who believe in sup, sup, uh, supreme uh, uh, ethic oh sorry ethnic they are they are they are themselves they have mental issue they, they have sickness you can find that some uh, uh, like let us say in some society uh, whatever poorness is exist crimes will go high right now if we if we have a city all the city there is white and there's no jobs and there's drugs and there's no education crimes will be spiking high have nothing to do with the color give people education the Bible says our enemy what my people have been destroyed by what by their ignorance so my friend all of us mankind women and men our enemy is ignorance it's not a color of a person when you are ignorant you fail because anybody can fool you anybody can lie to you anybody can deceive you anybody can steal your money anybody can use you and abuse you so all of us as a Christians we should stand against unjust because if there's a just and unjust in a place there's unjust everywhere and that unjust is like a bacteria will spread so if you think there's unjust in this place then and you think you have nothing to do with it you are just waiting for it to come to you you know what I mean <clears throat> it is unjust to let unjust happen which means if you can change the situation of being unjust and you just watch you are part of injustice crime if you see a woman being raped and you do nothing to stop the rapist you are a criminal too you are no better than the rapist especially if you can stop the crime So we Christians, we've been called for to be just and to be fruitful and to be loving. And one of the most important things about justice is love. Because if you love everybody, then you love to be justice to them. This is the fruit of love. Justice is one of the fruits of love. Love your enemy. What does that mean? If I am borrowing money from my enemy, I have to pay him back because he's not my enemy no more I love my enemy and because I love my enemy I love to be justice to everybody I, I love to be fair I love to be good 
I love to be truthful, honest. So love is a source of every good thing happening around us in this earth. You see, even the farmer who love his garden, the garden will give different from somebody he don't love. He just want to make money. If you if you have a if you have a, a bunch of uh, sheep and cows, if you treat them with love and mercy, even they will give you better. If you are aggressive, even with animals, even animals would hate you. And this is why Muhammad, he cannot be a person to follow. He ordered to kill dogs, and dogs are very, you know, unique creatures. They are best of friends for a human being. Now, there is bad dogs, but there is bad human. Right? There is bad dogs, but there is bad human. There's better human who do way, way worse than what dogs can do. But there's a, millions of dogs who they are very good dogs. So my friend, <clears throat> the fruit of a Christ is what we are after. And the fruit of a Christ will lead us into his heaven. We are not, we are not after the heaven. You know, the, in Islam, you are after the the big breast, you are after the women, you are after sex, you are after uh, uh, wine, river of wine, a river of honey, and crazy stuff. We are not after that. Our glory and our happiness is to be with the Lord. The heaven is just His place. It can be whatever it is. Our happiness is to be presented with Him exist with him it's not about what he will give us we are not believers because he will give us some things we are not immature people you see immaturity starts from this what you will give me not who you are so if somebody there's two people in front of you one he says to you, I will give you a car. The other one he says to you, I will give you a villa. You choose the one who will give you a villa. But maybe the one who will give you the villa is the devil. But you choose the villa. We are looking forward to be with our Lord who is holy. His holiness is what attracting us to him. Is what making us obey him. Is what making us following him. It is not money he will give. He will give us no money. He said that clearly. No money. No sex. Those promises is only for those who can be deceived by temptation of human desire, like sex. Why in the world I want to have children around me who they are servant? Isn't it this is a child abuse? Why in the world I want to have a God he promised me a couch? Isn't it silly? A pillow? Isn't it silly? Isn't it insulting that God he promised me women in heaven? Why women they are just made for sex? Aren't they human like me? And why I don't have a wife the same as Adam have a wife? What about having one wife? Isn't it God he created Adam and Eve? God did not create Adam and 72 Eve. So how come I go back to heaven? I found millions of Eves waiting for me. So this is a sexual religion based in sexuality and temptation in order to, to control the mind and the behavior of a human being. So you go, you fight, you die for Muhammad, and he is watching, and he is laughing at you. Osama bin Laden was hiding, and yet Al-Qaeda, they are dying. Al-Baghdadi was hiding, yet his men, they were dying. Because only the fool, they go and die to get the versions, but the smart ones, they will never do that. Even the leaders, Muhammad himself, he never go and risk his life. He hide in the back, and his men die for him. 
because he himself he knew that it is a lie thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you don't forget to download the videos as soon as we finish even though it has became long but you can cut maybe the part where you think it's more important to make it shorter in case this is will satisfy your purpose may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon again take care bye, -bye.